Welcome to Tuts Plus. My name is Jose Mata, and in this course, we'll learn how to develop in Ruby in Linux from a Windows perspective. This course is for all of you that are used to develop in Windows, but find it rather frustrating when doing it in Ruby. The Windows operating system has been becoming more and more stable. As with any piece of software, it gets upgrades and it gets far better over the years. However, its main architecture is somewhat frustrating when developing in languages such as Ruby or Relatives. The Linux operating system is much easier to work with once you get to know the basics. You know that I've been using Mac OS X for my recordings and most of my work over the years in Ruby. However, you might not be able to spend some money to buy a new Mac, for example, and you still want to enjoy the same experience as with Mac OS X. Well, turns out you can have a similar experience. Using Linux is free of charge, it only takes just a little work to install and to get up and running. The final goal of the course is for you to understand the development experience on Linux and how easy it gets once you get to know the basics, the tools that I'll provide to you, and then how it relates very much to a production-like environment. It is much easier to get acquainted with the Linux file system and philosophy than with Windows. Well, this is my experience and the experience of many other talented programmers. I hope this is the opportunity you were waiting for to jump from Windows to Linux in your professional environment. With that being said, let's jump to the agenda. After this lesson, we're going to install a Linux distribution, which is a flavor of the Linux kernel escorted by several different applications for a particular workflow, depending on who bundles the distribution. We're going to install the most popular distribution in the world, Ubuntu. Ubuntu is based off the also popular distribution, Debian. We're going to focus on the basics of Debian because Ubuntu is just a spin-off of it. And so if you feel you want to try a different distribution that is based off the very same base, Debian, then you should be good to go as well. You can try a system like Linux Mint or the new elementary OS. It's up to you. After installing the Linux distribution, we're going to explore a little bit what you can do with it, what programs you can run, and also how you can install packages. The way of installing them is very different from Windows, so I'll teach you how to do that. After exploring the very basics, we're going to start and delving in the details of Linux, namely the file system, how it works, and also the command line, which will be fundamental in our learning. If you get used to the ways of the command line, then you have my promise to have a boost in productivity. You can interact with the system and also with Ruby itself. Finally, we'll develop a very simple Ruby application, a Rails application to be specific. We're going to set up our environment, install a Ruby version, then we're going to build our application really simple, then we're going to configure some services such as a database and a web server. And finally, we're going to push the application to GitHub to explain a little more detail on some tools that require the command line and everything. And finally, we're going to jump off to some final tips on Linux in general and Ruby development under Linux too. So I hope you're excited in taking this course. Let's jump into the next lesson to install a new Linux distribution using VirtualBox to start with. See you soon.